Hey guys, the Monster here at the Monster Garage, and I want to show you a product that's actually been out for quite some time. Uh, this is a product by uh, Spider Pops. He's the originator of this concept, and uh, once again, it's one of those things that's really needed uh, on the Spider RT, uh, especially 2014. That's when they came out with this new style grill. And uh, it's called a cot grill. And the reason he, I think he called it cot is because basically it catches everything before it gets into your scoop. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you don't have these on here, um, this is one installed right now. And then this is another one. And if you can see, I can get my, my whole hand back there. We have literally had people <laughs> pull up with it's just like a vacuum cleaner sucking up leaves, cigarette buds. I've even seen uh, packs of cigarette empty cartons or uh, boxes uh, stuck in there, uh, which also reduces airflow, especially uh, leaves and grass and all that. Um, these do not reduce any of your airflow. There's uh, some other products out there that, uh, that have... Uh, basically copied this design that blocks airflow. Um, that would something I would be concerned about just for the fact that uh, there's two radi radiators on this bike for a reason and uh, it needs that cooling. So just uh, consider that when you're, you're looking at what to, to uh, put on your bike. But anyway, it's a real simple deal, but it's something that, that BRP dropped the ball on as far as I'm concerned as far as protecting this area and it's such a vital area because it's the cooling of the machine and if it's sucking up road debris and everything else uh, that's a problem so I've already installed this one um, it's a it's a little bit time consuming it's not hard but uh, there's always been some questions so I'm gonna kind of go a, by a step by step I've already put uh, two blocks on here uh, just for the expedience of, of the video and I'm going to kind of roll around here and uh, show you how to do two more and, and the actual install. So one, one of the things that you're going to first do is you're going to you're going to have a little I didn't bring it with me but uh, there's an alcohol pad and you want to clean all this area really good where the where the block is is going to go. So the block basically goes on the black piece back here. Uh, here's one installed. And uh, I also have one up, up top installed. And so you're gonna wanna take uh, your alcohol pads that come with the kit, clean that all real good. Then you, you're gonna wanna take this uh, 3M primer. And what this does is it, it makes uh, that uh, uh, sticky back tape stick better. It primes it and it, it does a really good job of just really uh, making it stick. And uh, to use this, you, basically all you do is you squeeze it and you break it. It's got it's got glass in there, and then what will happen is the the solvent will go into this uh, tip, and then you just basically just rub it in the areas that you uh, want it to stick on. And uh, this is important because uh, you you want these to stay on. Um, you're going to get eight screws, maybe nine screws. They give you an extra one for uh, in case you lose it. But uh, there's two screws that will get screwed into the very bottom. The, the top ones actually didn't get any screws because it wedges in there. There's no way for it to fall forward once you have the bottom screwed in. So if you're wondering what to do with the screws, that's what you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lay down here and uh, get these installed. So, let's see. So, uh, I have the top one installed on this one. It's gonna be hard for Jacob to show this, but uh, here's the top one. And basically you go right to the painted edge. On this particular one, the very bottom one, you're gonna split the difference so you you peel back your uh, sticky back tape, and this has already been primed. 
and you're gonna wanna hold that right to the edge or thereabouts. Press on it real good. Make sure it's on there. And you can see it's about halfway. None of this is critical. Uh, all you're doing is giving a backing. So I'll go ahead and grab one of these screws. A little, uh, this is probably the hardest part is just poking a hole in the uh, plastic and getting it started. So when you're going through, make sure you find the pointiest screw you got. There's already a hole drilled in it. So you just put your screw in there and then you're gonna wanna uh, go ahead and screw that in. So. Like I say, this is probably the hardest part of the whole install. It's really not that hard. The reason you put a screw in here is because there is a lot of heat generated. And uh, on the 1330 motor, it will actually blow hot air forward uh, when you're going down the road at a slow speed. It's instead of blowing the hot air back onto the driver, fan kicks on, it'll actually blow forward. So now I'm gonna spin around and get one on this top. And this one doesn't get a screw, so just go ahead and, you know, about an inch, inch and a half down. Put that in there nice and tight. All right, so now you're ready to install the grill. And, uh, it is a tight fit and it's got this little rubber uh, edge on it. So I like to put a little black diamond detailer on it because it's slick. And then uh, you just go ahead and tuck it in here like so. And then push that in place. Like so. And the plate itself, uh, there's actually two screws in it. And they do that basically so you can just pick one that lines up the best. So I'm gonna pick this one over here. And you don't have to worry about, you know, sucking it in real tight to the blocks. This is just a retainer. So as long as it's pretty close to it and it's fitting good, you should be good to go. Same thing over here. I can't hardly even see it in this one. Damn it. Lighting's bad. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Well, you're in there somewhere. Actually, I need a flashlight for this. Now, I think I see it. Nope. Well, for sake of the video, I'll put this screw in last. Um, but anyway, that's all you do is screw that last one in the same hole. And that's all there is to it. Kind of called a cotton grill. Um, great product. And it, you know, potentially will keep your bike from uh, harm if you, if you do 
driving down the road, you, you don't know what you're going to suck up in there. It could be a plastic bag. It could be anything. Uh, and this will help it. And the edge, the way this is, it comes out, there is still a little edge there. But the way the air flows and everything, nothing gets trapped inside like, like it did before. So uh, we got them in our store. And just to go to the RT section in the drop down menu and look for cot grills. And it's a spider pops uh, product. That's it, guys. Thanks.